So now that we've got an understanding of what custom shows are inside of PowerPoint, let's take a look at how to create a custom show out of one PowerPoint file. Gone are the days where you're going to do a save as and remove stuff and do another save as and add stuff or remove stuff. Multiple files, it's never easy to maintain. Now we're going to have one file that's going to have multiple sub shows or custom shows within it. Makes it more efficient, saves us time and much easier to maintain. So let's take a look at how to create and run a custom show. So here I am inside of PowerPoint 2013 and I've opened up one of the sample files here, Office Time Saving Techniques. You can download this file and try it out along with me if you'd like to. Or once you pause the video, jump into the sample or create one of your own and try creating a custom show. Super easy to do. We're going to go up to our slideshow tab, top of the screen. Towards the left hand side, we've got a section called Start Slide Show. Within there, we have an option called Custom Slideshow. I'm going to go ahead and give that button a click, Custom Slideshow. I don't currently have any, so my only option is to create a new custom show. I'm going to go ahead and hit New. Now I get the opportunity from my main show, which currently has seven slides inside of it, to start to pick what, sh what slides I want to add to this custom show. So remember the examples earlier in the prior video? I want to create one for the IT crowd. What are they going to want to look at? Well, they want to see slide number one, which is the intro slide. They want to get the two agenda slides. Hmm, let's see, they wanted Excel and they wanted Outlook. They were kind of like, nah, let's not get into Word and PowerPoint right now. But this sounds good. This is for the IT crowd. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And there's my first custom show. I'm going to go ahead and create another one. I want to do one for the HR team. So for HR, we'll say this is called the HR team. And they're going to want the first slide, the first agenda slide. They want PowerPoint and Outlook. No, you know what? I think they also wanted the second agenda slide as well. And I'll go ahead and add those. We left off Excel and Word. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I've now got two custom shows available to me. But this is all within one PowerPoint file. I'm not going to maintain multiple files here. Save some time, create the custom shows, maintain the one file. You make updates, you update one file rather than trying to track down multiple files and make all the consistent formatting across multiple files. It's just, it's, it's not good. Create the one file, create the custom shows. Now let's put this into action. I'm going to go ahead and close my custom shows window. I'll hop up to my custom shows button where I created them initially and I've now got my IT crowd and the HR team right there available to me. I'm going to go ahead and select the IT crowd and this will launch the presentation minus those few slides that I removed within this custom show. So if I quickly go through here, let's advance to the next slide. There's the agenda. Mm -hmm, yep, there's the second agenda and we're going to hop into Excel, we're going to hop into Outlook, and we're going to call it done. There's our custom show. And I can hop right back up. The IT crowd is gone. HR is coming into the conference room. We're now going to launch the HR team custom show. One file, little sub shows, hiding essentially slides that that custom show doesn't want. One file, manage the one file, save yourself some time, get rid of all of those multiple versions that might be floating around on your computer or your network drive or up in SharePoint, wherever, manage the one file, much, much easier. Try it out. Open up the sample file that we've provided, go up to your slideshow tab, go into the custom slideshow option and create a custom, custom show.
try a few out.